I'm the first to admit that magic and magicians fall into a broad stereotype, and one that is probably not generally attractive to the Illuminato audience. But the great thing about Illuminato, and I believe it's a partnership with Magic Canada, is we have that opportunity to expose everyone to different elements of how beautiful uh, and daring this work can be. Card Table Artifice is, is a transgressive magic. And what I mean by that, it's magic that breaks a moral or civil code. Because it's not magic tricks in the traditional form of bunnies out of hats. We're taking the viewer into a subculture of the world of gambling and cheating, both from a technical point of view and from a moralistic point of view, uh, and suspending judgment on both counts. But it's also really a three-ring circus, because we have this text inspired by the, the Bible on card cheating, being narrated by the great actor R.H. Thompson in one world. We have me as the man in the room gambling who practices this technique and raises the curtain on it in another room. And then we have this string quartet, actually a quintet, because Gavin Bryars, the composer, is flying over from England to join in on double bass. And this is all um, presented in front of a video wall with images inspired by Edward Moybridge and other assorted gambling material manipulated by Cam Davis, a great video artist. So it's really a three ring or four ring circus that is designed to both educate and deceive through distraction. The distraction of, of sleight of hand, the distraction of narration, and the distraction of the music. It's just pure stimulation, both for the eyes and the ears, drawn from various subcultures. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about as both a presenter and a performer is having Rob Zabrecki provide the first half of this card table artifice double bill. Just a really inspired performer, a cross between Norman Bates and David Byrne, uh, providing a really droll but macabre performance that will set the stage for card table artifice. Bullet Catch is also transgressive magic because once again it breaks a social or moral code. In this case, whether or not an audience member who is actually given a real gun is willing to pull that trigger and fire a bullet on a performer who has vowed to catch it. Rob Drummond, although he does perform some magic in the show, is primarily a playwright and a performer, and he addresses the issues that, that few care to address, and that is the decisions we make in our lives and how they affect one then and there uh, in the moment. All through the guise of exploring the life of William Wonder, a celebrated performer who used to catch a bullet. Rob has presented it originally in Edinburgh, where it won multiple awards and has subsequently toured the show uh, through New Zealand, through uh, Asia, and also of the Best of the Brits series uh, on Broadway. Magic to me is a craft, but in the hands of an artist, it can become an art. Without the support of Luminato and its patrons like the Slate family who finance this operation, we would never be able to assemble Gavin Breyer's R.H. Thompson and explore this whole wild world for just two performances. We hope that you come and see the shows because you're not going to see these shows really anywhere else. We may never stage this work again and that's okay with me because it was designed to be in this moment, at this time, in Toronto, for Luminato and nowhere else.